Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello, Good welcome. Good evening. Hi, good to see you. Welcome to our English class. So it's a pleasure to now see most of you here early. And that's great, right? Because we start on time. So how are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Welcome. Good evening. How are you? So sorry, teacher. No, half and half, 50-50. Yes. Oh my goodness. And you, and you teacher. Oh, pretty good. Thanks. Thanks for asking. And I'm a little busy, but you know, encouraged and you know, all the time trying to, you know, doing great and trying to rest a little. <laughs> so welcome okay. to all. Thank you. So welcome you all to our English class. And also because you know, yesterday we had a great class because we we're talking about some uh, valuable you know, information related to marriage and some topics that we socialized. And I was saying, and I just go back with the same, uh, with the same speech, right? That the, the, the goal for this level is to maximize your English skills and practice because that's what you need. Um, you always ask in general, eh, what can I do to improve my English? What can I do to speak fluent? What can I do to sound national when talking? So the best way we could say is practicing. The communication, it's the most valuable thing because I could, I could complete books, I can work with materials, I can complete exercises, but the most important is to, to have everything from the theory to the practice, to the real practice. That is, what is the real practice? It's communicating, speaking, pronouncing, completing the statements, um, saying some ideas, uh, critical thinking. So that's the goal. And when you start speaking, when you start communicating, you get more confidence when speaking. And then you start like you're speaking without any problem, no hesitating, no pausing, no vocalizing, like, uh, because I think that so you start, you sounds like more natural, uh, fast that you can uh, produce the language in the best way. So that's one of the goals, right? To think in English as a critical thinking and express your ideas. So it's a great combination. And that's why in this class, we need to reach that, watching the topics, working and memorizing activities. Well, um, I just want to ask you, um, what, did we, what did we talk about yesterday? So who wants to help us to share some valuable information? What do you remember we discussed yesterday? what things we can um, talk about. About the custom of the wedding. Traditional wedding. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So we're talking about that and I just really like it because you, 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 you learn a little bit about some traditions or customs uh, given in other countries, not just in El Salvador. And we discuss about some ceremonies, events, also how people celebrate it. So in special details about that. We will continue talking a little bit about that in a general way, but the purpose is that we will try to maximize your skills. So let's go on with the first activity. And also because we understand that the main point is celebrations. That's the main focus about that. And we have a writing in this case. Look at this. Look at this one. And who wants to help me to, to read the instructions? And me. Thank you. Uh, writing. Hey, write about your favorite holiday or festival. What usually happens? What do you usually do? Uh, my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving in the United States. It's always the fourth Thursday in November. Everyone in my family gets together at my parents' house. We cook a large turkey and serve it with cranberry sauce. Be big work, read your partner's conversation. Do you have any questions? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Right, but now, in the United States, uh, many families are celebrating Thanksgiving Day. 
I was speaking with some friends and relatives uh, right there. And they told me that they were bringing a special dinner. And also they talk a little bit about um, that they are thankful about something special. So they were like externalizing about how they feel. Like I need to thank God for, for my family. I need to thank God for a new opportunity to get a better job, for traveling, for getting to know people and to have more friends, to be healthy. So they, in that Thanksgiving Day, they thanks for everything that they have reached, things that they, they have harvested, and also different things that they have experienced. So they were very happy with this special dinner. So it shouldn't be like um, a normal dinner. It should be a, a special dinner. So that's why they take some time trying to get something very delicious to eat, and they, they know that and they have a special celebration. Perhaps these celebrations we don't have it here in the country. We don't, we don't have this. But we have some other celebrations that are proper related to our countries, to our country, Salvador, of course. So what we had to do is that I, what I want you to do is to take a short time to write a short paragraph. Could be four lines, could be five lines. And you will describe your favorite holiday or festival because we have holidays and we also have festivals. There are some festivals that are very common here. So I want you to discuss a little bit about that. So, and also what usually happens, well, in this celebration, people, they have a special dinner together. They have a day off, they don't work. They, uh, they have a nice dinner, they dance, they go party. So you describe um, this holiday or festival, like the examples that we have there. So uh, in that case, you can write at least five, five lines and you can see one example about this. So I want you to take a short time to write a little bit in five lines um, this holiday. So you can describe about this holiday. After we finish working with that, we will take a short time to socialize this information in small groups. So you can share your festivity or your celebration. So I will give you this time right now to work in that and we will continue with the same dynamic. After you finish, you use this Zoom chat and you will write the word finish because we need to look at this. Because we need to make sure that most of you have finished this activity in order to work in the small groups and socialize the exercise here. So let's start. Think about one special holiday or festival. We will be here working. And if you have any questions or doubt, you can uh, ask questions. Teacher, I have a question. How do you say this in English? Or you can use the chat to write something and you can also share with them, okay? Or perhaps you don't know how to write something. So let's start writing about this special holiday and then we will discuss in the small groups. Um, it's that okay? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. So let's start and good luck. Please, everybody work with this because we cannot be quiet. Like my partner didn't, didn't talk in the class. So all of you can talk. All of you can participate and continue working and I will be here. Remember, um, sometimes it's like a little bit challenging for people when they don't participate. Uh, I'm nervous. I don't know if I'm going to make a mistake. It's something normal. I mean, speak, practice. Because if you make mistakes, you will learn through the practice. So go ahead and let's work at this.
Thank you, Dennis. Uh, he finished. Great job. We also have it is two. She finished too. Nice, Anna. Thank you. Okay, I know that some of you are um, also Ricardo too, he has finished. I know that uh, most of you are about to finish too. So I think it will be the time to share briefly um, in the small groups um, during a special celebration. That's uh, something that we can uh, discuss. And I remember that I have always the opportunity to go on in different groups and listen to all of you uh, practicing English and also, you know, participating actively. That is something that it's very crucial and vital in this process. As an English speaker, I can tell you that the best way to show that we are learning is speaking, is producing, no matter if we are making mistakes, pronunciating or because of grammar, but when we practice, we feel more comfortable speaking. So we go on with that. 
and we will break the breakout rooms. We have a couple of minutes to and socialize in small groups and read about this about this festivity. Seeing here, much better, much better. Okay, so let's work at the breakout rooms. We will open them and you accept them, okay? And also Alejandro also write, wrote some information related to, um, you know, his topic. So let's open the, the breakout rooms and get ready to get in. Read the exercise. I have my I have my family lives in United United States, and they uh, and they celebrate holiday Thanksgiving. And the they comment they comment me about this celebration. They eat in turkey in a meeting of family with their friends, and begin. And begin the diner, say thanks for all the good they have. And finish. Okay, it's my turn. My favorite holiday is Mother Day. My sister and I visit my mom and we celebrate her with a lunch at home or in a restaurant. Always cook my sister, uh, sometimes meat or, or chicken. Uh, we spend the whole day with her, watching movies, drinking coffee or tea. Um, we had a good day. That's it. Okay. Is to the Sara? <laughs> Hello. Sara se fue. <laughs> okay. Mi saba the new year the new year is a Hollywood about to meet with your family and uh, make game together, tell history, and other things. It, um, it, it, is, it, it is a very important day because we celebrate uh, a girl. And we uh, the people can cook a uh, special food like turkey or chicken or something that they want to eat. Um, they can buy a special drinkings. Um, 
Also, they don't sleep all the night. And finally, uh, they listen to music all the night, dance, or whatever they want to do with their family or friends. That's all. Okay. Do you have any questions? The day is uh, Christmas. Christmas New Day. Year's. New, New Year's. Year. New Year. New Year. Okay. Well, uh, I continue. Okay. Uh, for this day, I change my day uh, <laughs> because I think that everybody likes the, the, the end of the year. My favorite holiday is Christmas. Uh, in our country and around the world, celebrate this day uh, in December, in, yeah, in December 24th. Uh, people used to cook turkey, a variety of dishes too. Uh, they like to sing Christmas songs sometimes. Uh, family gets together. Um, in this country, people like to bar rockets or fireworks. I, I, I think that that is the correct uh, translated. Yeah. That's all. Do Anything? you finish? Yeah, I finish. Mm, what do you do in Christmas, Boris? In Christmas, I get uh, with my family. If I uh, if I I am not in my work, I uh, share with my family that day. I usually like to. Uh, watch a movie about Christmas, about St. Nicholas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, I like to put some karaoke and try to sing <laughs> some song with my wife and, and my mm -hmm. uh, uh, son and daughter. Okay. That song very funny. Yeah. What kind of food do you cook? What kind of food do you cook? Usually turkey, sometimes hamburger, or uh, um, meat, maybe. Yeah. Um, okay. We drink uh, some kind of uh, drink, uh, like sodas. Mm -hmm. Oh, more or less that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No alcohol, Thanks. I don't like it. I don't like to, you don't like it, Michael? <laughs> to drink alcohol in that day. In that day, I don't like it. Yeah. Okay. Good for you. Okay. Thanks, buddy. We'll continue. Good evening. Good evening. My favorite day is also Christmas because it's is up spent with the family and there is more hearts everywhere. Full and green about we don't visit the family in the interior of the country. And what's only what I don't like is that you have to give a gift, gift on. Um, a family, uh, and dinner, and 
Thanks, buddy. Um, to nine and and uh, only. Okay. And what kind of drinking do you drink in Christmas? Did I? Excuse me? What kind of drinkings do you drink or buy for Christmas? Um, um, drink, drink beer. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay, students, uh, we go back. Thank you so much for the practice and also for expressing, you know, your favorite holiday or festivity. And I could learn about you guys. Well, let's continue with the next activity that we will develop. The, the main purpose about this is that we can share some valuable details. It says unique customs. Look at this article, unique customs. And I want you to read this article and also follow the reading about unique customs and we will learn about it. So let's listen what it says. Look at the photos below and what do you think is happening in each picture? Um, according to the general pictures and um, what do you think it's happening in the pictures? Who wants to help me with this? I think that it's a wedding. Uh, a, wedding. Ritual, a ritual of wedding, yes. A ritual, okay. Rit ritual, okay. Ritual of wedding, yes, for me. In my case, uh, I think too, it's a ritual. It's a celebration. A celebration? celebration. Yes, yeah, celebration. A celebration. And, um, yeah, talking a little bit about a ritual in the context, I mean, what nationality do you think they, they are? Asian people. I don't know what nationality, but it, <laughs> they are all Asian people. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, the Malaysian yeah. people. Okay. Chinese people. <laughs> or Japan people. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Look at the uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the in the first in the first picture appears. Uh, I think Mexican Mexican people. Mexican people, you think that? And the and the and the and the, and the first pictures. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, you are right. The yes. Picture. Okay. All right. The second, the, the, the first one, right? Different Mexican animal. people in the first Yeah, one. in the first one, in the, in the first yes. picture. Yes, you what right. is the animal, cat? Katy have to know the, the Asian people better than us. No. <laughs> right? No. <laughs> then they see that they eat. They see the comida. Okay. Well, yeah. let's let's focus on the reading and then we're going to answer some questions about it. So I just want you to help me in this part. It says January 17th is St. Antonio's Day. In Mexico, it's a day when people ask for protection for their animals. They bring their animals to church. But before the animals go into the church, the people usually dress them up in flowers and ribbons. On August 15 of the lunar calendar, Koreans celebrate, celebrate Chutsuk to give thanks for the harvest. It's day when people honor their ancestors by going to their graves to take them food and wine and clean the grave site. Also on Chutsuk, a big meal with moon-shaped rice cakes 
is eaten. One of the biggest celebrations in Argentina is the New Year's Eve. On the evening of December 31st, families get together and have a big meal. At midnight, fireworks explode everywhere and continue throughout the night. Friends and families meet for parties, which last until the next morning. Long ago in India, a princess who needed help who needed help sent her silk bracelet to an emperor. After he helped the princess, the emperor kept the bracelet as a sign of loyalty between them. Today in India, during the festival of Rakhi, men promise to be loyal to their women in exchange for a bracelet of silk, cotton, or gold thread. On the evening on February 3rd, People in, ja in, in uh, Japanese families take one dry bean for each year of the age and throw the beans around them, their homes and shrines, shouting good luck in evil spirits out. This is known as Setsubun, a time to celebrate the end of winter and the beginning of the spring. So you can see here different kind of traditions that are like no so common for all of us here in Central America, but it's important to know a little bit about them. So it's you can you can see some valuable details about these cultures, how they think and the way they celebrate. So after you know checking this one, we have to read the article and make five correct sentences using an item. Letter A on January 17. Look at this one. And then be people in Japan see visit graves of their ancestors. During the Iraqi, people in Argentina bring their animals to church. On uh, took so men in India stayed up all night. So you will read the article again and you will see, for example, if the number two during Iraqi, people in Argentina or is in Korea or is in Mexico, you have to read the article and try to make five correct sentences using an item from each column. And I can see here that the information that we can see in the columns is not exactly the same that we have here in the article. So for that reason, I want you to do that. I want you to check this part to read the article and then uh, socialized this information. So I'll read the article again and then check what is the correction that you will make in this part. Okay, so let's start and we will socialize this information in the class. Meanwhile, Teacher, excuse me. Yeah. Could you could you pull more uh, a little bit uh, more? Um... Be the image, please. I don't know. Well, um, yeah, I could do that, but I just going to change because I need to pass the attendance list. I don't know if you have the presentation that I shared um, through the group. Yes, it's a presentation. It's, it's in the WhatsApp group. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you also you can like take um, information there. Okay, Tisha. Yes, Thank you. Oh. yes, you're welcome. Okay, so meanwhile, you work in this oh, activity. Great. We will go briefly and we will pass the attendance list and to make sure that all of you are right here in, in the class and also have a, uh, the sequence of the time that you are here.
Okay, let's see here. Um, Alejandro Jose Quintanilla. Yeah, present teacher. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Uh, Ana Filomena Mendoza. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Andrea Geraldina Sanchez. Andrea Geraldina. Uh, Andrea Michelle Garcia. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Blanca Marisol Vargas. Uh, Boris Martin. Present teacher. Uh, Brian Isaac Escamilla. Present. Uh, Carlos Jose Asensio. Carlos Jose Asensio. Uh, Denis Isaac Gomez. Is this uh, yes, in present? Yeah. Okay. Um, Daisy Carolina Rodriguez. Presente, teacher. Thanks. Uh, Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present, teacher. Thanks. Elba Carolina Vasquez. Present, teacher. Uh, uh, Erika Maidel Antonio Flores. Present. Uh, Francisco Alberto Lemus. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, here is Regina Hernandez. It's here, teacher. Thanks. Jaime Rolando Escalante. Jaime. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana. Jenny Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Okay. Jessica Janet Sanchez. Present, teacher. Uh, Juan Eduardo Morán. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Katia Graciela Juan. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, María Lucila Soto. Present teacher. Eh, Maritza Isabel Méndez. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Nadia Isolina Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thanks. Noemí Alicia Estrada. Present teacher. Thanks. Oscar Armando Cruz. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Ricardo de Jesús Ramírez. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Sara Nalda Guzmán. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Vidal Evelio Mejía. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Wendy Abigail Rivera. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Wilfredo Mendoza Ramos. Wilfredo. Okay. Thank you, guys. Well, let's uh, see the information about this. Uh, okay, one second. Somebody is sharing here. One second. Okay, that's okay. All right, so. How are you going? It's okay? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Are you ready? Are you ready or not yet? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Ready. Yes. Not really, but yeah. Then one. Okay, let's see what happened here and be ready. We can make a difference. Okay, so we go back to the the article, and then we have this one. Look at the first one. And on January 17, people in Mexico, uh -huh. people in Mexico, bring their animal to shirts. Yes. Bring their animal if sure. to shirts. Uh huh. Yes. People in Mexico. Bring their animals to their church. Animals to church. Yes. You're, you're saying like right. that on January 7th. Yes, teacher. Fantastic. Uh, during the Raki. Many in India. Many in India. In India. From his local. From their women. 
Eh, women. In that case, it's women. Eh, cuando, es, cuando tiene una A, es woman. Cuando Ay. tiene una E, es women. Igual women. con hombres también. Cuando es hombre, es men, si es una A. Y si tiene una E, es eh, men. Es un poquito cambio. Okay. And the next one, let's see, pink. Uh, in to, to sure. sock. People in Korea. In Korea. Yes, ancestors. On the New Year's Eve, people, people in Argentina, 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 Argentina stay, stay up, up all night. All night. All night. All night. That's correct. And the last but not the least. On February 3rd, like this one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Congratulations. That was that was great. Um, so you can see um, the type of, you know, holidays and also festivities they have. Thank you. That was uh, great details about these things. And uh, what I like is in India, it does, you know, promise loyalty to women. So it's, it's important. They, they promise something or they celebrate something that is special for all of them. Thank you for that one. And we go to the next activity. That was fascinating. Okay, look at this one. Look at the picture. And this sounds a little funny. Uh, look at the picture. Uh, what interesting costumes do you know for birds, marriages, the seasons are good luck. Take turns talking about them like this one. When a boy courts a girl in some part of the Philippines, he stands outside her house at night and sings to her. This is, I, mean, I just read that about this one like time ago in a, in a short article. And they were saying that, you know, one of the, one of the best ways for them to show interest in, through a, whim, a woman it's singing a song, no matter if they can sing or not. So that's why the picture, the, the boy is not a good singer, but it's a tradition that they need to, to do to attract women's attention. That's why it's very important. For example, for good luck, some people, in, in, especially in this new year, they have to dress with some special colors. And these colors represents good luck, represents love, represents health, and also represents prosperity. This happens at the end of the year. It's a tradition that represents good luck. I just remember that, for example, the last day of the <laughs> year and the beginning of the new year, people get outside with a luggage or a suitcase yes. that represents <laughs> on the street, that represents that they will that they will travel you imagine that you go out around 12 a.m in january and with a luggage on the street that represents mm. that, you, that you will travel imagine in the future so that's right so i want you to think about and um, an interest um something interesting what interesting customs do you know for birds if you know one you can talk about it uh for marriages uh, the seasons or good luck. Think about it, and then we will socialize some of them in the small groups. Teacher, excuse me. Ruda doesn't have uh, a traduction, right? I'm sorry. Which which word? Ruda doesn't have a, tra a traduction, right? Um, Ruda, you mean about the adjective, or you you talk about the plant, uh, the plants? Yes, the plants. Mm, I think it's I don't know an special a word like that in English because remember that there are some words that have equivalents in in english but there are some other words that don't have equivalents so okay uh-huh so that would be hard 
maybe Ruda doesn't exist in 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 uh, English speaker countries. Maybe I don't know. Um, yeah, perhaps with a maybe, different yeah. name. Yeah, perhaps with a, but sometimes according to the to the English grammar, when the word doesn't have a an original meaning in English, you can say the name in your own language. For okay. example, if I'm talking about a tecomate, you know that it's like a, a small container of water. You can say the small container of water. Also, you can say tecomate because it's a proper name. Okay. It's like, say, tortillas in another language. Exactly. So because they don't have an, an equivalence in English. You say tortillas, tortillas. That's right. I heard that people say tortillas too. Yeah, I mean, it's the same. I mean, the, the thing is that they don't pronounce. They cannot pronounce tortillas like, like us. But it's, mm -hmm. it's written in the same way, tortillas. They should say tortillas. But for them, it's difficult to pronounce tortillas. So <laughs> they say tortillas. Yeah. It's like when they say pupusas for us, it's like not a problem. So you can say pupusas because it's difficult for them to pronounce in English. Mm -hmm. Tacos. Oh, tacos. Yeah. It's like, for example, if you request uh, a, a, an English speaker to say the word in Spanish, um, a very, very Salvadorian word when we say like camionada de cosas, camionada. <laughs> word, uh, we say in Spanish like camionada. If you ask them to pronounce this word, it's going to be hard for them. <laughs> Even though Latin names is very hard for them. Latin names. <laughs> um, I was speaking with a, a friend of mine that she's... Uh, a native speaker and she lives in Wisconsin. And I asked her about the song names and she couldn't pronounce the name eh, Rodrigo. I mean, eh, she tried to pronounce oh, the really? word and she tried several times that, and it was hard for her to pronounce the word Rodrigo, the name Rodrigo for us. Yeah, because they are, is very slowly, right? It's very soft. Um, yeah, and also the, 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 the pronunciation of some words is very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you say at all in English? At all. Maicena. <laughs> Atol Chuco. No. <laughs> Dairy at all. At all. Dairy at all, yeah. Dairy. At all the lot? No. Or at all. <laughs> I don't know what is the thing. Or. How do you say my young in English? I... And by the way, yeah, I was listening about that. For example, at all, the, the, the word is Nahuatl. So that's the uh -huh. Yeah, it's a Nahuatl name. So then we, it's like A T O L E, but also we change it to A T O L. Okay. Yes, and I I don't know I don't grow up about it, but this is a Mesoamerican drink or Mesoamerican food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. okay. So we'll take a short time, the last round. Um, vamos a hacer la última ronda y lo que usted tiene que hacer es eso, ¿verdad? Va a entrar con los grupos y va a contar un, una tradición especial que se hace en cada, en alguna situación como birds, marriages, the seasons, the good luck. Um, for example, some people say that and it's good to bring some 
coin to have some money in your pockets in the last day of the year because that means that you will receive the new year with money. It's a tradition. It's a custom. It's something that people do. So that's what you have to do. Sure, one of them. Okay, so let's go back to the breaker rooms and you can share this information with your partners. Let's go. I couldn't get in, teacher. Come on, people get there. In pray for the person who has died. I did you put in the in the in the chat? Yes, people uh, gated and pray for the person who has died. I don't know, great. I don't know what is great, but I but I but I understand you. Uh, all of you, 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 your idea. And yes. Uh, uh, o sea, lo que quiero decir es que las personas como que se reúnen para, bueno, en este caso es rezar, ¿verdad? Pero creo que yeah, 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 como yeah. pray por la persona yes. que ha fallecido. Yes, it's, it's very um, understand. Uh, nine days, days. Okay. Reunirse quiere decir así? que se reúne. Reú ajá, ajá, no sé si estaba bien así la palabra. Y hey, oh, no es que. Meet. ¿Está bien así o, o la palabra um, meet? Ajá, que es como de reunión, ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ajá. Ajá, entonces es, es una reunión religiosa. Ajá, es como los, los, los nueve días, digamos, que hacen. They meet. Yes. They meet, ajá. They meet eh. to pray for, a, for the Halma en Pena. No. For... <laughs> no, for... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, eh. for, the, for the soul, just, just, for the... just the soul. <laughs> Yes, okay. <laughs> Other tradition uh -huh. are the that the, uh -huh. and, and ¿cómo se dice? at the end or sin yes. uh -huh. at the end of the of the of the meetings. Uh -huh. eh, ¿cómo se llama? People eat tamales. No, yeah. Es... Creo, yeah? no. People eat no. tamales and coffee. 
coffee. Yes, it's and true. Bread. And bread, bread. No, ¿cómo se dice? Bread. Pan, bread. And pan, bread, pan, yes. Sweet. Tamales Pero with bread and, and coffee. Sweet bread. I don't know, but I believe you. <laughs> yes, it's true. Sweet, creo. Yes, on the on the ninth day, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes. Yes, on the ninth day. Night yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. Sí, porque el, yes. el día uno al ocho no dan nada. Yeah, no. <laughs> So the, the, the good day yeah. is, is the is the yeah. is the night. <laughs> in San Salvador, in another department, I don't know. Aquí sí, every day. Ah, okay. all right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So could you could you uh, notice us when one uh, um, friend to you die, please? Because you know, we can. <laughs> it's a joke. Forget it. Other other tradition. Okay. Okay. Bien. Este. Yo um, my in my case for wedding. Yeah. Okay. Right. Eh, in the Ciudad de Conchagua, in the Department de la Unión. Okay. Uh, good evening. Good evening, good evening. I don't know what, what happened with the technology because uh, I never get in the, the groups. Really? Yeah. Oh. Did you finish the activity right now? Repeat, please. Uh, did you finish the activity? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Are you remember the holiday interested in, 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 in Russia? Russia? Uh -huh. Recuerda alguna festividad de Rusia? No, but... No. Uh, no. About the Sabado, yes. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. I remember oh. the the Canchules Day. Hey. Well, the Canchules, we, the Canchules Day. Well, we go back, guys. Well, because of the time, we're about to finish. You know exactly with the time. Thank you so much for the opportunity that we have had here in the practice. So we will see you the next uh, class, the next week. Don't forget to complete the exercises in the platform and also thank you for the responsibility that you have had working with activities so i really appreciate it and i hope to see you the next week take a time for resting enjoy your night and keep on working hard see you the next time students good night teacher good night bye bye good night good night for everyone good night teacher bye good night have a good rest thank you so much appreciate it bye bye take care